Hello, my name is Andy Decourt, and it's my privilege to serve as the pastor at Phoenix Christian Reformed Church. This week's Andy Weekly is shot on site at Saguaro National Park East. The devotional comes from Psalm 65 for reasons that will become very apparent as we work our way through it. Praise awaits you, O God, in Zion. To you, our vows will be fulfilled. O you who hear prayer, to you all men will come. When we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. Blessed are those you choose and bring near to you to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. You answer us with awesome deeds of righteousness, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas, who formed the mountains by your power, having armed yourself with strength, who stilled the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the turmoil of the nations. Those living far away fear your wonders, where morning dawns and evening fades, you call forth the songs of joy. You care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with water to provide the people with grain. For you have ordained it. You drench its furrows and level its ridges. You soften it with showers and bless its crops. You crown the year with your bounty and your courts overflow with abundance. The grasslands of the desert overflow and the hills are clothed with gladness. The meadows are covered with flocks and the valleys are mantled with grain. They shout for joy and sing. Clearly we can join with the opening verses and praise our God for for what he's done, for listening to us, for being the one who hears our prayer, for helping us when we're overwhelmed with our sin. Certainly in verse 4, we can praise God for choosing people and helping us to know him, to know his blessings. We can thank him for filling the good things of our house as we dwell with him. We can be overjoyed with verse 5 when it says that God answers us with awesome deeds of righteousness. We praise God for all of those deeds. However, this text talks about the Lord caring for the land, starting in, in verse 9 and, and beyond, caring for the land and enriching it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with the water. I'm in a beautiful desert right now, but imagine if all of the country was desert like this, how hard it would be. Instead, this is just a snapshot, a small percentage of the world that God has made, a small percentage of the country in which we live. Praise God for the ways that he has filled the earth with water, that he provided arable land. Praise God for the ways that even in the desert, he shows his bounty and his goodness. He shows his awesome deeds of creation. That the grasslands of the desert do overflow, that God continues to renew the earth. In this part of the, the desert, you see some squirrels, but not as nearly as many as there used to be. There was a terrible frost in the in the 60s and a lot of the cactus didn't make it but now these young cactus are renewing the earth god continues to see the way forward in the same way god renews the earth god renews his people filling us with his spirit and giving us what we need to go forward with all creation we join together shouting for joy and singing of god's goodness and god's mercy and god's power all this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.